in his hands. Oh, I like that. Leave the timing in his hands. I have found that over and over. Sometimes, you know, in prayer, I want something by a certain time. And I feel like it must be by this time. And I found out that God doesn't necessarily work on my timetable. As a matter of fact, he's, I'm sure he's uh, laughed at me when I've given him, you know, a one week time period that I've got to have this in a week. Nope, it won't work that way. Not, not, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying he can't do it. And I'm not saying he won't ever do it. But I'm saying we don't need to put him in a box because God's timing is perfect. Our timing is not perfect. Um, so let's say this out loud. Leave the timing, Leave the timing. in God's hands. In God's hands. So uh, that's something that we all have to work on. Amen. Um, for, uh, First Peter 5 and 6 again. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. In the message it says... God